Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Last time in one of our video on Content Hub, we discussed about how we can import asset into the system, and um, uh, you know we discussed about we discussed about a way you know we can import the assets via um, you know via assets URL, or we can also uh, select uh, the assets directly from a file system, and, and we can import. Uh, you know into the into our system but this time we are going to see how we can make use of import excel file and because you know uh, we discussed that there there could be you know some certain scenarios where we are dealing with several thousands of assets and that point of time using um, you know directly importing it from our file system or giving a url of it um, you know it's not uh, something which is very you know um, a feasible option so we can that in those scenarios we can make use of uh, excel file and we can basically import everything uh, everything in uh, that excel file and we can provide populate it with the right well uh, details on it and then finally we can upload it so that that is what we are going to uh, see today so uh, for that we just have to go to our create uh, page because that's what the landing page for us to import assets into the system here on right hand side we have this add option so previously in the last video we discussed that initially you will get only upload files and if you want to import uh, if you want to enable this import excel file you have to go to your create page and that's where you can enable this import excel right so this as this is already enabled so let's prepare for the uh, for the excel file so i've just you know um, uh, created a schema of um, of you know this excel file how exactly it looks so uh, we are going to import uh, our asset entity okay and as part of this asset entity the first thing what we have is this m.asset uh, tab right so because the name of this m.asset the name which we have specified as then you know um, our um, tab name here this is really important because um, when we import it back to our uh, sandbox environment then that's what it basically looks for like the that we are actually trying to import which entity so it is m.asset entity so this name really um, important then uh, we have you know certain columns here where uh, we can you can basically specify that which column you want to populate while while you're running this import task so we have the file name right then um, and this is the absolute url you have to provide here for for your asset then uh, you have your title you have your description so if i quickly um, go back to my uh, one of our asset and here if you see like under overview section if i just click on edit you will find we have a file name we have title we have description we have type marketing description agency and several other um, fields on it right so same way like we have this file which is again coming from our overview section this one then we have title which is already there we have description marketing description you can see it here we have description we have marketing description then we have a uh, few taxonomies like asset type to asset so which is again here like asset type to asset is our taxonomy here then we have asset source and then final life cycle status right so which uh, under which state our current uh, current asset is into like whether it is in approved state under review you know those kind of things you can apply here so that is one thing you basically have to um, give your uh, name as file m dot asset your entity name and then which column you want to populate there so let's just go back to um, uh, again and you know xabi.com and just try to get some uh, asset from here so maybe i'll just take something maybe this guy okay and uh, let me just copy this url from here so that's one thing uh, okay let me just go back to my file so this is what you know i just put in here like uh, the file name then um, my title is i can just put something dog lover description is again i can just give same uh, description okay so the next thing is marketing description this is also you no know, i can just put something here it is just random okay and then the next is so we have these um, uh, three fields now asset type to asset asset source and final life cycle status to asset so important thing uh, to mention here is that you know uh, you cannot just put any value here and then it basically gets applied here like 
because it's a taxonomy right and it is working based on you know your relation so what you really have to do is for example you want to um, if i if if i go back to my uh, taxonomy let me just go back to my taxonomy first under manage section we have this taxonomy and here we are talking about asset type to asset right so asset type to asset is also a taxonomy here so this is an asset type right now so the value for this taxonomy we have archive fact sheet social media test asset type and training asset type so if you want to have one of these values coming uh, you want to set one of these values um, as an asset type for the new asset which you are trying to import there so what you have to do is let's say i want to make it a fact sheet for example or maybe social media so i can just click on this detail section of this one and here you'll find we have this identifier right you cannot just put something called a social media directly so you have this identifier and then you have to put this m dot asset type and dot social media you so you have to um, you know copy over this identifier from specific uh, taxonomy value what you want to uh, import go back to your file and just copy over you know this value here so that's what you know the important thing here to um, make a note that you cannot just put direct value from uh, from your taxonomies right you basically have to you know go to the taxonomy value and then take the identifier for that specific uh, taxonomy and basically put it um, here same uh, rule applies for asset source because asset source is also one of our asset if i'm not wrong so uh, what we can do is um, let me just search here so right we have this asset source and if i uh, open this we have apac email and us and if i just want to set the value for apac there so i can just click on this uh, um, you know more details for this one and then click on uh, check the identifier and it is asset source dot apac just copy over this value and then put in here and then finally we have this final life cycle status to asset so for that also that is also one of um, the taxonomy we have here so let's just search for it so we have here m dot final life cycle status right and this is what is important here and if i go inside it like we have different uh, uh, status available like how exactly you want to put your where exactly you know your assets fits in here in one of these assets so uh, for example i just want to call it as that you know my asset is currently under review so what i'll do i'll just click on this um, information icon from here and copy over this identifier which is under review and then copy over this one this value and go back to excel and then you just put in here right so this is what you have to um, uh, you know uh, you have to be you know uh, making a note of this one that uh, for this taxonomy the item you just have to uh, take the identifier value for for uh, your specific taxonomy and uh, you have to copy over those values here instead of copying over direct taxonomy value um, and you know other things uh, you can just like if it is a single line tag those kind of thing you can just directly pull in here but any if you are dealing with any kind of you know reference items there then you have to basically follow the same rule um, and yeah this tech uh, this uh, uh, column name is also something which is important so um, you know just make a note of these column names also like whatever columns name you have defined here as part of this file those column names should exactly match what we have on our schema so if i quickly back go back to my um, uh, schema again and if you try to just validate the columns name what we have applied uh, to our excel file right so let's just go back to our schema and let's just go to our entity called m dot asset entity and uh, other things are all same because uh, you know we have this file name title description asset type to asset all these things are uh, fine uh, then we have this um, uh, asset type to asset so you see right we have this asset type to asset here asset type to asset then um, asset source so asset source is also i think we if we go back to uh, our custom assets so we have this asset source here so which is also okay here and then we have final life cycle status to assets so i think that should be somewhere uh, under journal if i'm not wrong yeah so we have this final life cycle status to asset and that's the value which you know we have here final life cycle status to asset so once you're done with this just save your 
uh, file and then let's go back to let's go back to our create page from here maybe we can go from here leave i don't want to save these changes okay so now from here you can just click on add import excel and select the files and then you just go to desktop um this one open so you have the ch import asset data excel which is finally uh, uploaded just click on done and when you just click on this done basically it triggers the job in the background and if i go to the background processes right so it is currently being going on right i actually am seeing some issues with the processing job for now but um, this this will basically you know this will well will have an impact when it is trying to you know um, uh, create the renditions for your assets but that's fine for now uh, we can at least see you know if the asset has been created or not so we can again go back to our create page and it is still going on okay yeah uh, let's just go to review because yeah right so this is what because uh why it is under review because if i just go back to our file again and the final life cycle status was under review right so that's why it is under review section so now we have this um this asset created under uh, review page and if i go inside this one and if you quickly try to validate what you know fields it has uh, populated here so we have the file name we have the title right you see here the title then we have a description description then we have marketing description then we also have the asset source also applied here so this is what we have right and then um, so this is also you know our taxonomy item this was also our taxonomy item and right now it is under review and that's where it is coming from you know this final life cycle status so this is where you know it comes handy um, when you have uh, you know several hundreds of items uh, assets which you want to import to your system and that's where you know you cannot basically rely on just uh, uh, upload files and you know or just directly giving the url there because it is time consuming and you know um, it basically you know it is not feasible uh, to do that kind of uh, operation so that's where you know you can just leverage this option and uh, uh, you go from there and uh, other th you know there are certain things which i mentioned like we have to make special make a note of it like uh, your uh, name right your android asset is important that for which entity you are uh, uploading your assets and then the column names should exactly match with what we have on our schema and for the taxonomy the items and all the reference field we should have the identifier value for all your specific items so what we have instead of just giving the value there so that's what i just wanted to cover as part of this um, uh, video that uh, you know i think it is clear now how now we have you know um, now we understood like we have uh, you know at least three options to upload this uh, files into the system uh, so just to give you a quick recap of it we have our upload files where we can just click and then either we can select it from the file system we can import the links directly by giving the you know um, the absolute url of your uh, of your file and then we also have an import excel where you can import your excel file and uh, you know you just go from there so i think um, um it is clear to most of you and thanks for watching and if you have any queries and any clarification on this part how we can import it feel free to um, you know ask your questions and thanks for watching thank you